Hi, this is Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group with today's real estate tip. Today we're going to talk about insurance and specifically different types of endorsements that you can get on your insurance policy and also why you may or may not want to get them. And with us today is Jeff Thomas with MinStar Insurance. Jeff, how are you doing? Pretty good, Scott. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for being here. So Jeff is going to take us down the rabbit hole here and talk about endorsements on your homeowners, what hazard insurance policy, uh, why you might want to consider them, and maybe why you wouldn't. So take it away. Sure. So on an insurance policy, uh, this is where it can be won and lost, in my opinion. A lot of people will look at an endorsement as additional coverage or additional ex monies that are going on in the insurance policy that they don't need to spend. But there's a few here that I'd like to touch on that are very important that commonly come up that actually will put a bad taste in a lot of these uh, homeowners' mouths when they have a claim if they don't have these coverages. Uh. So, um, example, uh, one that I can think of that is kind of uh, a newer endorsement that a lot of insurance companies are starting to bring up or add into the policy is called a matching endorsement. And what I mean by matching is, for an example, on a maintenance-free siding or a shingle that you have, you, if an insurance company offers that matching endorsement, I highly recommend that you decide to go with that. And the reason being is you'll find that when that hailstorm comes through, rips through, or you have that wind that blows out the siding, and you cannot match that siding or, let's say, that shingle, you're going to be put in a tough spot because what's uh, going to happen, they're only wanna, going to give you just what's damaged. That's really the only responsibility of the insurance company is to cover what is damaged. Well, and the problem there is, like, even if the shingles are manufactured in the exact same way or the siding in the exact same process as they were 10, 15 years ago, just the impact of the sun and, and fading. Uh, yeah, the fading. I mean, it's, it, it will make it almost impossible. That's to match. another issue. So, a lot, and that's another thing, too. You want to look at the matching endorsement, they cover fading or not as well. Uh, so, it's just, it puts the insurance company and the insured in a, a tough spot because it's, it's very common that these colors are altered or changed slightly over time. So, by having a matching endorsement, uh, for siding and you know for that uh, for that shingle, what happens is is it's going to give you uh, allocated a dollar amount or a percentage based upon your dwelling for stuff that isn't damaged. So commonly that wind or hail, or I should say the hail, will hit one side and will leave the other three sides in perfectly you know, right. good condition, and you're going to be in a spot where what do I do? You know I. I only have now a check for this, but no, I have my matching endorsement for 20000 I can now wrap the rest of my house. Right, right. You don't want your house to look like a puzzle. Right, right exactly. Yeah. <laughs> We're only going to replace those four shades. Or a highlighter on one side. Right, you know, exactly. right. So in terms of um, what do people ask for and, and what does it cost? Is, I know that's a broad, general statement. It, relatively, I, I would say it's, it's fairly inexpensive. Um, you'll see it probably vary anywhere from about $30 on the upwards of about $90. Now, keep in mind... The higher amounts I'm giving you, those are usually a percentage. I can think of a company that offers like one, three, five percent. So the higher the percentage, obviously, the more it's going to cost. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, any other kind of endorsements that you recommend? Or I do. Um, sewer backup commonly comes up. Okay. And this is something where I think people really get confused with sewer backup, sump pump overflow versus flood coverage. So sewer backup, sump pump overflow is an endorsement you can add. It usually ranges anywhere from about, I would say, around $50 to about $80 with most insurance companies. Most companies will only offer between five to 10000 And mm -hmm. if you have a finished basement, you know that that is not much. This is so. having my neighbor, brand new house. <laughs> so, so <laughs> and, you know, I can think of one person that, you know, recent insured that didn't see the need in the sewer back of some of overflow, only went 5000 And he's like, Jeff, this is a $12,000 job. And you know, it's, it was all about cutting costs, unfortunately, and and nothing, I, nothing against contractors, but I don't know one that'll even show up for five thousand exactly. dollars <laughs> in, in in this environment right now, and, and and good for them, right? But the uh, yeah, so okay, so so generally maxed out at about ten grand. Uh. At ten grand. So I do have some carriers though that will go up to fifty, sometimes up to a hundred thousand. So in increments of a thousand. So this is where. You know, if you have a ex extravagant basement that's, you know, to the nines, it's, you know, got all the nice furnishings, this is something you probably want to really look at and right. spend some money, you know. So, and that's where, you know, the sewer backup is, you know, the sump pump, um, they are one endorsement, but they're two separate things. Sewer backup is the sewer line is going to back up into the home somewhere right. versus a sump pump. If you have a sump pump, is going to pump that water away from the house. And what that, it's one endorsement, but if that was to malfunction, 
that could potentially pay for the water that they can't pump away, and that's why people miss, you know, miss mm. it as being flood coverage, which right. truly isn't. Right. So, flood right. coverage is actually through the FEMA backed, federally backed program, and all of us insurance agents offer the exact same flood coverage. Right. So. Right. It's all government. Right. Sure. So, all right. Well, that was really helpful. Anything else you want to add? No, there's a few others. Uh, identity fraud protection or theft protection they're adding in. And you'll find that a lot of companies now are kind identity of. Identity and fraud protection. They, yeah, they are. So, they, okay. for example, like your credit cards, where they offer uh, that coverage for an additional cost, or I can think of like a life lock, stuff like that. Yep. You can actually add it, and it's usually around maybe 15 to $30 per year. It's, it's fairly cheap. Okay. And another thing, too, is, you know, I just touched on a few of them. There's many other endorsements, like if you have home offices and so on and so forth for liability um, that you can add on. Or let's say you have a property or land that you're looking at maybe building a house. You can add that on for $10, $15, which will extend the liability coverage up north or, you know, if you have, you know, a property further away. So Interesting. It is. And, you know, a lot of these um, endorsements you can add in or they offer um, bundling packages kind of. So they'll offer like a premier package, which will include a lot of these and give you increased internal limits, which is one other thing I'd like to touch on is yes. your scheduled property. Um, a lot of people just assume that everything's going to fall underneath that personal property contents limit of coverage. And when you go to, let's say, you know, you bring that ring or that firearm or the computer equipment that you have, and let's say you exceed that internal limit of 5000 or let's say it's a jewelry item of 1000 you want to make sure that you list it on the policy at an additional cost to cover those higher valuable items. So. Okay, so like a, a jewelry endorsement or firearm or whatever, just make sure that, because a lot of times, like you said, you know, maybe you, you know, I've seen it all the time, the limit to personal property is twenty five, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, and... Not you know, some much. some people, you know, they have an extensive. Well, like to like, collect Rolexes or right, yeah, yeah. ladies got not me, but jewelry. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> handbags, you know, whatever, <laughs> shoes. I don't know, whatever right. it is. So awesome. Well, this is really helpful, Jeff. If uh, somebody wants to learn a little bit more about endorsements and what different options they have, how do they get a hold of you? Sure. You can reach me by phone or email. My phone number is 612-299-1299, option zero. Otherwise, feel free to reach out to me by email at Jeff, J-E-F-F, -F, at M as in Mary, N as in Nancy, star like a star in the sky, I-N-S dot com. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, Scott. And I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group. Like always, if you want to get a hold of us, our number is 612-600-8888, 612-600-8888. 8888 or 24-7 online at verde-realestate.com. We hope this content has been useful. And like always, if we can be of further service, please let us know. Thank you.